Fieldhouse, where tonight the Red Wings open WIAA State Tournament action. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, we got Green Bay East coming in tonight and uh, come in with a 5-15 and 15 record. They're not very good. No, West Bend East not very good. They play, come from the Wisconsin Little Ten Conference. They've struggled all year. Very similar to Sheboygan South this year, probably a team that's maybe underachieved a little bit. They're picked for third in their league, and they uh, ended up losing five of the last six. They finished in sixth place. The only team that was a, uh, lower than them was a team that didn't win a, a game in the league. So you're talking about a very disappointing team. They had four seniors returning, and uh, they're coming into this gym, and I'm watching them warm up. I don't even know if they want to be here tonight. Well, you know, you talk about them losing five of their last six. South has lost three in a row, too, and they're about really had a downer part of the end of the season. Yeah, you're talking about a team that at the beginning of the year lost to Milwaukee, Washington, who's 20 and 0, number one ranked team in the state. They lost by two points in this gym. And uh, boy, after coming off that- hey, they took Bradley down to the wire too. Yeah, a lot of high expectations and all of a sudden they get to conference play and a lot of close losses, just like the last few years. You're talking about a team that's 10 and 10, you know, just nine and eight in the league. And, you know, maybe a team that, you know, has so much more potential that maybe they're gonna show their stuff in the tournament. I wouldn't want to play them any if any of the teams along the line, that's for sure. The thing is, they're so inconsistent, like you had said. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Chris, and this has to do with uh, the close losses that South has suffered over the last two seasons. What's the reason for that? I, I just can't figure it out. You know, one of the things we talked about in the pre-game, our preseason show with Coach Schultz is what's the difference, you know, it's gotta be senior leadership or the guys that have been there before. You know, are we capable to finish the job, you know, and you know, they, maybe they start looking for each other, things like that, and things just don't turn out. The one thing I'm worried about, though, Marty, tonight is, like you said, the inconsistency. They lost to Milwaukee, or excuse me, Pulaski the other day. Pulaski only won four games before that. So you're talking about a team that's won five games. You lost to them the other day. This team's only won five games. So I'm a little bit nervous, but this is a game that South should handle. Let's talk about the positives, Chris, because South has a go-to guy in Jake Schwartz. I mean, the guy is really a, a, a man in there. Yeah, he is. And maybe just huge strides over last summer compared to right now. Last year we saw him, we knew what he was capable of last year, he averaged about nine points a game. We saw him getting rebounds all over the place. But over, since last March to this March, or excuse me, February, it's been a, a drastic change. Now he's averaging 19 points a game, probably close to over 10 rebounds a game and have made big strides. With him in that guard play, I mean, he's, this, this team is very explosive. The Sheboygan South team is averaging 66 points a game. Uh, West Bend is only averaging 47. So we gotta hope that the uh, South Siders get in the 60s today. You gotta preface that with that's probably the way that conference plays though also. Uh, the other thing, a positive for South, you had mentioned the guard play, but they go deep into the bench and they got a lot of players that can play ball. Well, at the beginning of the year, uh, Coach Schultz did play, rotate a lot of guys in there and out of there, and uh, Reuter was in there a little bit, and unfortunately they lost Kyle Rummel, which was just a big blow, because that's somebody who came off the bench and provided some sparks. But you know, you're right, they have so many different players that they can count on to contribute to this team, and you know, like I said, I'd be scared to play them, but this is also a team in South that could lose the first game of the tournament, but who knows, it's tournament time. I would think they are a definite dark horse, though. So. Definitely are that. We're gonna step out, when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's basketball game. United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Mommy, there still be penguins around when I grow up. I sure hope so. Do more than hope. Since the 1970s, global warming has caused ice in the Antarctic to melt and populations of Adelie penguins have been rapidly declining ever since. There's still time to make a difference before the Adelie penguin vanishes along with its habitat. Go to defenders.org slash global warming to learn more. Why is it you two have so much trouble communicating? I don't like the way he talks to me. All I said was that you had a big osteo fight. <laughs> Well, what about the secrets you kept from me? Oh, so I didn't tell you about my drug allergies. Big that deal. That could have been nasty. How's your shoulder coming, anyway? Fine. 
I worked up to three pound dumbbells yesterday. Oh. Just three weeks after surgery, that's pretty good. Communication is the best medicine. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Hey, how do I get in on a government auction? You know, like for a car? Well, what about renewing my driver's license? Don't bring your government questions to just anyone. Go to firstgov.gov, the official source of federal, state, and local government information. And don't everybody chime in at once. back at South High School where they're getting ready to uh, start tonight's uh, regional semi-final game. Both teams have uh, left the floor and are at their uh, benches waiting for the national anthem. And at that point after we'll uh, get the starting lineups to you. South High School comes into this game 10 and 10. They finished the conference season at 9 and 8. Uh, West Bend East, the Suns, finished at 5 and 15 and 5 and 9 in their conference. And to step out and, uh, as the national anthem gets paid by the South High Pep Band. Safford is our uh, floor announcer tonight. He's going through some uh, preliminary announcements. Our referees tonight are Rick Van Dries and Todd Krieger. Those gentlemen are from Oshkosh. Uh, I can't say that I recognize them, Chris, but I'm sure if uh, we got a regional semifinal game, there are a couple of good referees. As I look at the starting lineup for uh, West Bend, they're going to start uh, three three seniors and uh, two juniors. All right, first starter is number two, Paul Klotz. He's a 6'2 junior. Number 21, Sam Huffman is a 6'1 senior. Huffman averages around 12 and a half points a game. Number 23, Dexter McNeil, 6'5 senior. Number 24, Eric Kremp is a 6'1 senior and rounding out the starting five is number 32, E.J. Sexton. He's a 6'3 junior. For the Red Wings, starting at a guard, 5'10 junior, Jake Biederwolf. Biederwolf averaging 11.6 a game. At the other guard spot, six foot junior, number 15, Chris Hemsing. Hemsing averaging 12.4 points per game. Number 21, 
is Grant Renzelman. He's a 5'11 junior. Number 31, 6'5 junior is Derek Kiekafer. Renzelman averages about 7'4 a game. And there you see number 41, 6'5 senior, Jake Schwarz. Schwarz averaging 19.6 a game, Chris. Uh, again, South at a decided height disadvantage. I there think you see that head coach Tim Schultz, sorry about that. And East is coached by Phil Arada. I was just going to say, I think that uh, Jake Schwartz is going to just have a huge game today. I don't know if there's going to be people that can handle him inside and seeing a guy like that. But uh, looking out there and looking at Dexter McNeil, who averages, averages just about 11 points a game, uh, he's built pretty well there, Marty. <laughs> he's a solid kid, that's for sure. As I said, uh, West Bend East comes in at 5 and 15, 6 in their league, just 47 points per game they average. They did lose to Plymouth, by the way, by 12. That <laughs> was that surprising. <laughs> no, and Plymouth is now ranked number two in ranked in Division Two. Rick Van Dries tosses it up and South controls. There's a loose ball that uh, he certainly had a good shot at, but couldn't come up with it. Well, watching the warm-ups, as I said in the opening, Marty, I don't know if East was ready to play. Let's see if they have any intensity from the get-go. If South gets off to a good start, the sun may go down. East playing a man-to-man -man defense. Good help defense on yeah. the perimeter by Huffman. It's a good sh sign of knowing this, getting out on those screens. Something that South likes to do is run off those uh, screens. Shot off the dribble is no good by Renzelman. Their big guy is uh, Huffman. Uh, he was fourth in the league, 12 points a game. He's number 21. Has it inside, trying to spin move. Puts it up and in. Two to nothing East. Well, one thing I was just gonna say, you know, when you mentioned about the uh, points per game, how low it was, figure them going to be, that they would be a very shot is no good by Biederwolf. They'd be very patient on offense. But uh, they actually attacked the basket pretty quick on that trip, first trip down. Well, I would think if uh, Huffman's their guy and he gets the ball, he's going to go. There's no question about that. Sexton commits the fall. It's 2 to nothing uh, East. Well, Kikafer was open for a second, but didn't get the ball. Shorts, hanging jumper in the lane is good. We're all tied at two. In the first quarter, TV8's first uh, tournament game of the year, and uh, we've got quite a bit, uh, hopefully, that we'll be bringing to you. Our next game will be on Saturday when North hosts a regional final game. All tipped by uh, Hempsing, but not stolen. It's hard to believe it's tournament action. It's two weeks earlier than normal. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed with the crowd here at South today. Hempsing with a great steal. Read it and put it in for the layup. Four to two South on top. A lot of pressure by South. They must know that uh, East probably can't handle the ball very well. A good give and go action. Shot is off, no good, but the tip is up and in by Huffman. We're tied at four. Almost tipped away. Schwartz able to uh, gather it in. Good help defense by McNeil stopping the drive of Hempsing. Ball is tipped away. <coughs> tipped away from Biederwolf, but they're giving it to Green Bay West. Pardon me, Green Bay East. West what? Bend East. <laughs> I'll get it right yet. How about if I just call them the Suns? We're tied at four, rolling down to uh, five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Huffman had it. McNeil's shot from outside. 
The arc is good. McNeil with a three pointer, it's seven to four. Hempsing from outside the line, Kansas. Take that, he says. Isn't that the truth? Tied at seven. Congratulations goes out to Tim Crowns and the Lady Red Wings as they earned a number one seed. The girls tournament, which will start next week as well. Pass to the cutting McNeil is a little bit behind him. Jake Schwartz on a great pass to Derek Kiefer for a layup. Wow. Schwartz doing it all at that time, Chris. Intercepted the pass and then uh, made the good assist to teammate Derek T. K. 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 For, for the layup. Well, I just like that. It just looks like South is much more athletic than the Suns are. And it's a couple easy baskets. They've had an opportunity and a very good uh, timeout by West Bend there. Here you're going to see the replay. Pushing Schwartz. it up the floor. You know what I don't? like about that too you have two big men for south down there not one sun back that just shows you know lack of hustle and spirit by those guys my gosh this is could be your last high school basketball game you got to give it all you got i always say it's always kind of weird you have a tournament game it starts earlier you know normally you have me at seven o'clock or on a saturday afternoon and within an hour and 20 minutes your whole career your season could be over after hours and hours and hours of practice it really goes fast Ball almost lost by uh, Wenslaff, number 33. Heavy pressure by the Red Wings. <laughs> Referee almost took one off the noggin. McNeil, dump down inside, passes tipped away. Huffman, shot in the lane is no good and then it's tipped out of bounds. They're gonna say it went off of uh, Wenslaff and South is gonna have it back. For Nabo in, number three. Well, Brandon had a nice game early in the season we had. You know, all of a sudden people found out he can shoot the three, now they're covering him up a little more. Oh, and uh, last time we saw him, he didn't get into late in the ball game, fourth quarter here, he's seeing early action. Now, obviously we didn't see him against uh, Pulaski the other night. TJ Crown's also in the game now. Shot by Crown's is good. It's 12 to seven. TJ, South on top. TJ's had some big games this year as well. And on other days, not such big scoring things. And I need that senior to lead them. Trying to dump it down in was McNeil again. South intercepted it, and then they turn it right back over to the Suns. You know, South High baseball coach uh, Clays is here. He doesn't like to see his ball players fumble those balls like that. Give him a glove. Yep. Checking in for South is number 55, 51, Jake Reuter. Giving uh, Jake Schwartz a rest. 247 remaining in the first quarter. It's 12 to 7. South on a seven point run so far. Little bust out, nice pass inside. Wenslaff has it, puts it up and in, and he's fouled. Well, good play there. Foul goes on Renzelman, his first, and the team's first. Free throw is no good. Now we're going to get an over the back fall on uh, West Bend. Ball goes on Claus. Scott Wood come into the game. He's number 23. So a uh, bunch of new players coming in here. Emptying the bench early. Bernabo has it on the wing. Hempsing off a double screen. Bangs home the three pointer. Three for three from the floor, Marty. Wow. Well, that was a great play. Set up the double screen for him. He popped open at the top. 
I think it's a good idea to get those players in early in tournament action, you know, so they're not nervous and things. And especially when you got a home game, it makes it nice and easy. Get yourself set up for a long run in the tournament. Hoffman's leaner is up and in. Nice one-on-one -on -one move by that young man. Another opportunity for uh, West Bend at a three-point play. Key Kafer, Schwartz, and Biederwolf all back in the ball game. Short stint for Wood and Reuter. Hemsing, the third member of the South team, to get some rest. Sam Huffman shoots the free throw, and he can't get it in. 15 to 11. Oh, there he's, oh an easy opportunity there, but Key Kafer couldn't quite grab it. Bernabel was wide open. They didn't get him the ball. Wow. Shot by Biederwolf is good, and he's fouled. A three-pointer. Whoa, baby. Chance at a four-point play. We haven't seen that very often this year. Four three-pointers already in the first quarter, Marty. Three of them by South. And Biederwolf not able to uh, complete the four-point play. Combined, no. both teams are 0 for, 4 from the, 0 for 3 from the free throw line. It's 18 to 11. South on top, another turnover by the Sun. Schwartz with a 15-footer, his rainbow is short. Huffman comes away with the board. Outside oh my. shot is no good by Lithheiser. And then we got a whistle stopping action. Well, that was an interesting shot. Hey, Watch the fall at the end. Didn't look like much, but he turned into him. <laughs> 18 to 11. Rolling down to a minute left to play here in the first quarter. Good battle inside by Schwartz and McNeil. Long three-point attempt is no good by Kemp. Biederwolf trying to penetrate and pitch, but the ball was tipped. Uh, McNeil on an interception. And the driving layup is good by Huffman. He's got another basket. He's four for four from the floor, Marty, and uh, he's uh, pretty legit out there. Yeah, he looks good today in this, in this quarter for sure. 25 seconds remaining in the first quarter. South on top, 18 to 13. McNeil popping out, putting pressure on Kike for good inside feed to Jake Schwartz. The ball is tipped away, no foul call. Kemp knocked the ball away. We're under 10 seconds remaining. Wetzlaff, no good. South comes away with the rebound, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. South on top, 18 to 13. When I joined the National Guard, I never thought I'd be saving lives. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Now I'm on a career path, and I'm the leader of my team. I put on the uniform, and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. How far would you go to protect the planet? I want you to build an ark. Here we go! Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Maybe there's another way. People, the flood is imminent. Is it too much to ask for a little precipitation? Go to fightglobalwarming.com to find out what you and your community can do to reduce global warming pollution. Back at South High School, where South leads it after one quarter of play, 18 to 13, but they had opportunities to bust it wide open and didn't do it. 
Leading scores in the quarter was Chris Hemsing with uh, seven for South, and uh, Sam Huffman had eight for the Suns. Hemsing's got eight. He's got two threes and a two, Marty. All righty. Need all the help I can get. Shot off the glass is good by Litheiser. Both teams over 50% shooting South real hot. They're 70% uh, from the floor, including four or five from three-point line. Jake Schwartz. Leaner is up and in. Nice move by Jake. He has four points in the ball game now. I don't know how they're gonna stop him, Marty. You can only hope to contain him. <laughs> Shot no good, McNeil on a nice putback. 20 to 17, South on top. Hemsing rolls off no good. Renzelman fighting hard inside, but couldn't get it. Huffman did. Bounce pass to Litheiser, his shot is way off. Rebound putback is up and in by E.J. Sexton. They can't allow those second shots, Marty. Biederwolf inside the line. A lot of bouncing, but it wouldn't go down for him. West Bend with a chance to take the lead. They trail it 20 to 19. Early in the second quarter. Ball is tipped away by Renzelman. I think he got away with a walk, Chris. Renzelman puts it up and in. That's Kemp's fourth turnover already. And then he's always just lazy to get back. He's still not across half court. Lithizer with a 10 footer is no good. Tips it right to McNeil who puts it in. 22-21 South up by one. Renzelman has it on top. It's to Schwartz on the baseline. Puts it in the lane. Oh, Got nice. the shot in, but they're going to call it for an offensive foul and a great acting job by Dexter McNeil. Wow. That was a bad one. Hardly oh, any my. Contact. Hardly any contact. There you saw it. Well, that was Jake's first foul. Well, Only be a third team fall, a little uh, 30, uh, full time out. So we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Right now it's 22 21 South. Moving is so much of who we are. It's easy to take it for granted. Multiple sclerosis stops people from moving. We exist to make sure it doesn't. Join the movement, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society at nationalmssociety.org. Oscars aren't till Sunday, Marty. <laughs> I was listening to uh, public radio today and they're talking to the guys from Port Price Waterhouse. They do the tallying. There's two guys. They get all the ballots. They do everything by hand. They're the only two that know until they actually open the envelope on stage. Really? They only have two? Oh, oh only wow. two guys. Everything's pre-printed. Everybody that's on the ballot has a printed. If they're a winner, they slip it in the envelope. If they don't win, you know, they tear all the old ones up and throw them away. thought that was kind of an interesting uh, little conversation they had, but uh, you're right, McNeil. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> he barely got touched and went down. Down goes Frazier. <laughs> well, it was a little controversial on the Beaterwolf three-point foul there, too. So, unfortunately, we don't want Jake to get in any type of foul trouble. Kemp has it on top. Now, he's been turnover prone. Doesn't look real confident off no. the dribble. Ball is tipped away. Schwartz comes away with it. Losing at that time was E.J. Sexton. Renzelman from way outside the line couldn't get it to go in a battle and now they're going to get Jake with a rebound foul. See and now that's two on him. That's two and how much do you play him the rest of this half? They're only up by one, the Red Wings are. And uh, checking in is Jake Reuter. See now that foul will be four. Looks a little more bigger in the picture. You got that right. 
never take a fall for granted because you never know when the next one is going to come and all of a sudden here you're sitting with uh, too many. Huffman on the bust out. And Kemp lets it go. It was tipped by a uh, south player. So West Bend will keep it. Well, so far I thought South pretty much has dominated this game, but they only have a one-point lead. It's been second shot opportunities for East. Well, you know where they've, where they've looked dominant is they've turned, uh, West has turned the ball over for layups. Yes. And yet, you know, like you said, they're only up one. Ball goes on Hempsing. Fifteen fall on the Red Wings. West Bend East has three team falls. Good inside feed. Ball is blocked by Reuter. Peterwolf open for just a second but didn't get the shot off. Nice pass to Reuter. His shot is no good and there's going to be a foul on West Bend. Sexton picks up his second. Reuter's just a sophomore. Forget about that sometimes. Now it's the end of the year. Nice to have a big guy coming back for two more years. Reuter knocks home a couple. It's 24-21. Well, they only lose uh, Jake Schwartz and TJ Crowns. And the JVs under uh, the Coucher boys had another nice season. So uh, South should have uh, a lot of horses in the pen next year as well. McNeil on a dump down and uh, gets kicked back out. And Kemp on a drive kind of got hung up in the air, but then a whistle bails him out. However, you got to replace 19 points and 10 rebounds from Jake Schwartz next year. That'll be uh, someone's going to have to step up or get a couple contributions from a couple people to replace that guy. Peter Wolf commits the fall. That's his first. Six team fall. Rolling down to uh, 415 left until halftime. South on top, 24 21. Klotz had it on top. Huffman has been pretty tough in there. Oh, what a move. Little duck down, but the shot wouldn't go down for him. But he muscles oh. it back up and in. I did like that move, Marty. Oh, that was sweet. It's a veteran move there. Holy cow. He came for from outside the line, and he pops it in. Oh, boy, how often are you going to see that? Coach Schultz, no, 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 no. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I've had a few of those in my day. <laughs> Bill Richards and I still talk about that one. Up at Green Bay West. Right now it's 27-24, south on top. McNeil posting up inside. Oh, good dump down, easy layup. Can't let that happen. Tell you, when he gets inside, he's tough. He's shooting. Uh, McNeil has nine points. Four of five McNeil is tonight. Bernabel covered up well, forces the shot up and draws the foul. And I think it's going to be Scott Wenslaff, number 33, getting tagged with the foul. Oh, they're calling it on Klotz. That's his second foul. Bernabo to the line. Bernabo, only a sophomore also. And neither team has shot their free throws very well. Leithheiser back in the ball game. Ooh, rattles around but does go in. 28-25, south up by three. I'm surprised you don't put a little more pressure on this situation. Maybe uh, they just kind of work them up the floor. I wouldn't be afraid of a little trap action or something. I think uh, the Suns would be very vulnerable to such an action. Huffman 
Scoots right around for Nabel for an easy two. He is slick under there. Can you imagine what he would be like if he was about 6'5", six, 6'6"? Six, six? Very good point, Marty. Renabel spots an opening, goes to it, can't get the shot in. Tip is no good. And he's just out muscled inside. Good effort by Brandon. It's 28-27, South on top. West Bend East, another opportunity to take the lead. Huffman posting up inside. Bernabel a little overmatched in there. You notice that too, huh? A couple times now off the uh, screens, the guards for South have been a little slow. A couple reach-ins, and now the fouls have mounted up to a bonus situation for the Suns. 2.19 remaining. They trail by one with an opportunity to uh, grab the lead. Klotz on the line. And that free throw is no good. We remain tied at 28. PK for posting down low, but uh, McNeil covers him up pretty well. Uh, South doesn't look real smooth on this offensive maneuver. Biederwolf takes care of that with a shot, can't get it in. Kiefer pulls it down and brings it back out. Whoa, Renzelman, what a good save. 145 left in the first half. We're all tied at 28. Biederwolf with a sweet move, but couldn't get the bounce. West Bend East has it. Huffman with it. Neal on a dump down to Huffman. His shot is no good. Tap up is good. I think Huffman got it. They're going to give it to Huffman. 3-28. He, he raised his hand to make sure everything in the house knew it was him. <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> TK for driving to the baseline, got the ball in. Very nice. All tied at 30. Under a minute left. Wenslaff is going to get called for the travel. I think they're also going to give him a technical foul, Chris, for. Uh, Bad dress, cut off, <laughs> cut off t-shirt, doesn't look very good. Bad apparel, that's a T. <laughs> Rolling down to 45 seconds, we're all tied at 30. Biederwolf looking for the opening, but good defense played by Klotz. Crowns with an early three attempt is no good. West Bend will get it back with 30 seconds left. And a chance to take the lead. We're all tied at 30. 20 seconds remaining. Well, if uh, South anticipated a early blowout and a easy ball game, they're uh, not going to have it. Is there going to be inside to Huffman? What passing on the inside? Huffman gets the layup and he's fouled. Far from that situation and committing uh, the foul was uh, Jake Reuter. Again. Oh no. Ball is tipped away. Huffman gets it. Lays oh, it off the glass man. and in. Shot no good at the buzzer, and we're at halftime, and West Bend East with a 34-30 lead. My goodness. We go to any extreme to protect our children here. And here. And here. 
Well, there's a great way to protect our kids here against diseases like cancer, heart disease, and obesity. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, vegetarian foods. Now you can protect your kids from the inside out. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Sheboygan South Varsity Dance Team. Let's have another nice round of applause. What makes something amazing? Is it doing what people once believed impossible? Or is amazing something you become? We believe in doing the amazing. In dominating air, space, and cyberspace. Inventing technologies. In doing the unimaginable. But our most amazing accomplishment isn't what we've done. It's who we've become. Global warming is a problem. Problem. It's a problem. I wanted to do something to become more energy efficient. To protect the environment. To protect the future. So I turned to Energy Star for help. Energy Star is helping me be part of the solution. Everyone can join the fight against global warming. Go to energystar.gov to learn what you can do. Together. Together. Together, we can all make a difference. You work for the feds, right? 
Can I find a slightly used hatchback at one of those government auctions? Something roomy but practical. With a sunroof? With a sunroof. You know. USA.gov is your official source for government info. From student loans to government auctions, USA.gov. It's government made easy. Wow, what a half. Leading 34 to 30, and uh, wow. Halftime scoring, leading all scores, and he was a man out there, even though he's not that big. Sam Huffman, 18 points, Chris, and he was just a force on the inside, even going up against uh, bigger players. Leading, also uh, chipping in with nine was Dexter McNeil. For uh, South, Chris Hemsing had eight. He had nothing in the second quarter. Uh, Derek Kikafer had seven. And uh, a lot of contributions from the South Siders. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different players scored. But uh, I'll tell you, he stayed close and they made the most of it. Well, the thing if I was Coach Schultz at halftime, we shot four of 11 in the second half, boys, but we allowed six offensive rebounds. Now, you may not be shooting well, 
but you cannot, you know, give up on the other end of the floor. And uh, the effort for rebounds and things like that was just not there. Uh, we got to get a better job of handling the, the rebounds and things. They had seven offensive rebounds in the first half, which is, just cannot happen. And uh, you're right, Sam Hoffman, 9 of 12 from the floor, and he's got six rebounds already, including four offensive. The defense played inside by McNeil. Kick out to Hemsing. His three-pointer is no good. Schwartz goes right up above McNeil for the rebound, but his putback is no good. But the next putback is. He does not want it to end tonight. A lot of effort that time. Jake now with six points. He, of course, got in that second foul, and he sat out, but... Uh, I'll tell you, if you're going to go deep in a tournament, you've got to have contributions from other people hitting the glass and things. Yes, a lot of people score, but we've got to do it on this end, and that's how you do it there. Nice block that time by Derek Keekafer, preventing Sexton from uh, scoring on the inside. It's 34-32, West Bend East on top, surprisingly. Huffman inside, no good. That time, South came away with the missed shot. Biederwolf driving right through the crowd. Defense by Huffman to stop Renzelman's drive. And then a takeaway. Ball is stolen by Klotz. East on top, 34-32. We're in the third quarter. South led after one, 18 to 13. Inside feed to Huffman, the ball is tipped by Kikafer, but then uh, Huffman tipped it out of bounds. Good idea, but that just wasn't there that time. It was good defense by South High, and that led to the long pass. And it's a couple times we've seen that overlay there by McNeil. Good step out defense. Hemsing driving to the basket, puts it up and in. That, that basket ties up the score. Well, you're right, Marty, when you mentioned he had all eight in the first quarter. He was three for three. Only had one shot attempt in the second quarter. And uh, my gosh, he, he was the leading scorer after the first quarter. Now was your first basket in a long time. Back cut, shot attempt is no good. Renzelman, I think, had an eye on Biederwolf, but it wasn't quite there. Hemsing driving to the hoop, lays it up and in. Good job by Chris Hemsing. And a quick timeout by West Bend East. Trying to stem the tide. It's been a six nothing run here in the third quarter. It's a full timeout with 5.39 remaining in the third quarter, south up 36-32. Today, people seem to care a lot more about how good they look than how well they see. And that's a big mistake, because an eye doctor can see things you can't, like the first signs of glaucoma, diabetes, and high blood pressure. For men and women over 40, it might be wise to look into your eyes. Visit CheckYearly.com, a message from the Vision Council of America and AARP. Got Miloff running the uh, floor camera. Kerry Kautzer in the truck spinning the dials this half. Kerry was on the floor camera back in the first half. Yeah, we got the professionals down there in the camera today. There should be nothing but uh, expertise Peaches there. Peaches and cream. That's right. <laughs> Eric Wiesman running the uh, up camera. My partner is Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. And a turnover by West Bend. Good inside feed to Key Kafer. He lays it up and in. Did Coach Schultz's message get through at halftime? Well, let's hope it continues to get through. Right now, it's an eight-point run by the Southsiders. Oh, he had a person inside, but didn't throw him the ball. McNeil out of the ball game. Kemp, three-point attempt is no good. But Wenslaff came off with the rebound. West Bend keeps the ball. They're down four, 38-34. 
They led at halftime, 34 to 30. South on an eight point run so far. Another attempt is no good. Kikafer with a strong board. Good inside feed to Jake who beat everybody down the floor. Whoa. You brought up a good point, Chris, about their big men not getting up and down the court like Sauls did, and uh, we saw it right there. 32nd timeout for West Bend. Another timeout by West Bend. And you've got to call timeout there. Things are just falling apart for West Bend. How can you complete such a great last two minutes and then come out here and just lay an egg? Too much uh, confidence, and there's some of the uh, Sheboygan North... Uh, Faithful and uh, with their new dues, they've uh, <laughs> basically shaved their heads, most of them. I did see Tim Schwer today in the uh, halls, or was it yesterday, and I said, you still look better than all those guys now with their goofy haircuts. His, he didn't get his as short, but a nice feature on Tim today in the Sheboygan Press. I always like that uh, Preps Plus. There's good information in there. Good job by the press to uh, do those. South on an eight point run. They trailed at 34 to 30. Right now they're on top. Actually a 10 point run. They, they lead now 40 to 34. If South would win this and Oshkosh North would win, which would be the heavy favorite, this game will Ooh. be, good call. This game will be, uh, South will be playing at Oshkosh North and they have got a very strong, big team and we saw them last year, Marty. They were quite an exciting club, and they got most of those guys back. Well, you know, and that takes us back to your comments about uh, don't like playing South because they have a scary kind of a ball club. And I'll tell you, they play better as the competition gets better. Yep. Good back cut by Jake. His shot is no good. Remains 40-34, to 34, South on top. Some of you are looking in the future. Would North ever play <laughs> South? They'd have to get way to the sectionals to get that far. They can look at it close enough. Well, actually, it'd either finals. be in the semifinals or the finals. But finals. Okay. North, of course, will have a home game on uh, Saturday, which we'll be at. We'll be there. Hoffman right in his favorites. Oh, man, what a move. Sam, Sam Hoffman, he has 20. Schwartz on an Schwartz easy on one. an easy one. He beat the beat the group down the floor. Boy, I got you know I always keep track of points and our baskets and rebounds and stuff. Jake Schwartz is first five minutes. I got nothing but marks for him. Huffman on a great pass to uh, Wenslap for an easy two. Another easy one for Schwartz. Jake beating him down the floor. Unbelievable. 44-38. You know, steal. Oh. Oh, give it up. Yep. Give it up. You know, if that would have been you, that would have been a behind the back bounce pass <laughs> up towards the rim, so Jake just has to touch it in. Yep, I would have passed that, give that pickle up, but uh, I'm thinking about what the, co the coaching staff is East is saying is, who's got that 41? And the answer, of course, would be nobody because nobody knows where he is. He's down the floor. We can't <laughs> find him. He's not down here by us anymore. He can't run down like that. Peter Wolf knocks home. A free throw for Jake. That's uh, his fourth point of the night. He hit a three back in the first quarter and uh, he's been silent since then, till now. Jake Schwartz, seven shot attempts already here in this uh, third quarter. He's made four of them. He's got four rebounds already in the quarter. Oh, there was an offensive foul not called right in front of Tim Schultz, and he's like, how in the world can you not call that? Huffman's off arm came out yep. and just pushed uh, Crowns right to the floor. A second foul on uh, TJ. Good mix up. I like this. I like this. Klotz has it. McNeil has been sitting for a long time, Chris. We get a turnover on Eric Kemp. He's good at that. That's seven of them for him. McNeil comes in. 
Kemp averaging eight points a game. He's uh, 0 for 5 from the floor, and he's got, what did I say, seven turnovers? It's a lot, and several of them were for uh, layups. Crowns breaking hard off a of screen. Well, South not catching the ball right now. They've had some chances to get shots off, but they're not catching the ball. Rolling down to two minutes left in the third quarter. Red Wings up 46 to 38. They've had a big turnaround in this uh, third quarter. Jake going baseline, lays it up. Don't you dare. And good, and he's fouled. I was gonna say, don't you dare call an offensive foul on that one. It was a lot closer than the other one, but this time South gets the call. For McNeil, that's his first foul. What a third quarter, Marty. I was South High and watching this rebroadcast. Besides, you know, you and I are so good. I wouldn't watch it till the second half. <laughs> really? I wouldn't watch the rebroadcast till the uh, second half starts. 49-38, South up 11. That was the first three-point uh, play completion we've had in the ball game. We've had four attempts. Look at how they're flying all over. I wish they would have done oh, this Another earlier. turnover by the Suns. Not even close to a turnover. Come on, you guys, know the rule. Jake Schwartz on a layup on a great move, and he's fouled. Oh, the Jakester, take that. How many points did he have at half, halftime? Four. He's got 17 right now. <laughs> Looking at his second three-point play. And we got a minute and a half left in, in the third quarter. In as many trips. And he knocks that one in. Jake looking to the bench. Baloney, Jake, you stay out there. You're having a quarter of a lifetime here. Really, 52-38. This is what we wanted back in the first half. I know, you know what they're doing is taking away all your story time. They yeah. uh, decided to make it a little closer at first. Well, were you able to slip one little story of the 60s in there with uh, Bill Richards and myself? Lithizer has it. Huffman right down where he likes to be, and he gets the layup. I like to have him for the run. Wow, what a nice player. That breaks the uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten point run by South. And we got a foul underneath. Yep. It's going to go on West Bend. That's because Schwartz is going to get another rebound, and they had to follow him there. McNeil picking up his third. That's uh, why he was sitting out, possibly, for a long time. Under a minute remaining in the third quarter. South up 52 to 40. Dumped down into a Jake. Count it. Oh. No good. Kikafer on a strong rebound. Put it up and in. Good play by Derek. Kikafer with uh, 11 points. 30 seconds. And kick out to Lithizer. Oop, and they're gonna get Derek Kikafer with a foul. Ball went off a of Sexton, but it was because he was fouled. First foul on Derek Kikafer, only the second team foul on uh, South this half. Where was the applause for Jake Schwartz when he came off? Come on, you South fans! <laughs> My gosh, four rebounds, six of 10 from the floor, 14 points in the quarter. That's a game for some people. Lithizer muscles it up and no good, and then he tries to tip it in, but he goes over the back. He's gonna get nailed with the foul. Fifty-four, forty. South on top. Twenty-one seconds remaining. Scott Wood had it. Crown trying to go hard. Nice fake. Muscled the shot up, but couldn't get it in. Kikafer, Kikafer again, and he's fouled. Wow. Point nine seconds remaining. 
Foul goes on Lithizer. Kiefer will be shooting a pair. Derek's had a nice game. He has 12 points now. Looking for number 13, it's 55-40. He knocks that one in also. Shot at the buzzer by Huffman is no good. And after three quarters of play, South comfortably ahead, 56 to 40. Education beyond high school, the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid, part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year, we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.ed.gov. Don't get left behind. The most costly education is the one not begun. Federal student aid. Start here. Go further. Back at South High School, uh, Jake had quite a quarter, eh, Chris? Oh my! By the way, before you get started, it was a twenty-six to six quarter for uh, South in the third. They Who are these guys? <laughs> really, they erased a four-point deficit. They're now up by sixteen. I'll tell you, at halftime, I was shaking my head trying to figure out what was going on, but uh, should have known all along. Hey, who was that <laughs> guy? A really nice young man came and took our picture. <laughs> Huffman on another dish up, pardon me. Nice dish by Klotz and the basket is by number 33, Scott Wensleff. West Bend just three of 10 in that quarter, two of them by Huffman, but six turnovers for the Suns and that's what led to just their six point quarter. That and Jake Schwartz just taken over. Well actually that was a good pass by Biederwolf. Uh, Kikafer should have had that one. But uh, that's only the third turnover for South in the last three quarters, second, third, and this one here. They've really taken care of the ball pretty well. West Bend breaks the press that time. Huffman on a spin move. He's going to get called for the charge. And on the other side, that's the 13th turnover. Oops. For West Bend. Sam Huffman picks up his first fall of the ball game. Their seventh team falls, so Salt will be going to the line the rest of the ball game. They're shooting still close to 50%. It's just the turnovers that cost them. And like you said, Marty, the red hot uh, quarter by South. And here's the guy, and another foul. That foul is going to go on Wenslaff, number 33. It'll be his first foul. And Jake Schwartz will be going to the line, shooting a one and one. the third quarter south was six for six from the line they continue to be perfect here in the second half they were only three for five in the first half well whatever was discussed at halftime worked worked uh, it was the coaching staff and the players talking to each other the combination of the two uh, message delivered Job of breaking the press by the Suns. Saul so still pressuring them out on top. Kemp in and out. Klotz had it, fell down, no travel call. Normally that's a travel. Shot no good. Another offensive rebound. Wenslaff puts that one back in. 58 44.
Hempsing with a spin move, shot rolls off. Wenslaff with the rebound. You know, I was just watching that. Ugh, deep pass, Kikafer puts it in. Wenslaff is uh, really slow getting up and down the floor. I mean, he's, you talk about not working hard, maybe being a big guy, but he's not working hard. Sixty to forty-four. Kike for now with uh, fifteen points. He's had a real nice night. Inside feed. Sexton's shot is no good. Another oh, rebound. Has he got a double double yet? Nope. He's up to six, seven rebounds. Ooh, that's a day got him for the travel. I thought he shuffled his feet before he got the ball down on the floor. Dexter McNeil coming in. 10 points in 10 and a half minutes. Not going to get it done. There's the tail of the tape. TJ Crowns entering the ball game. There you see him. Guarding the inbounder. 60 to 44. 520 remaining in the ball game. South has had a Tremendous second half. Ball tipped away. Wenslaff gets, got it back. Camp Huffman on the shuffle of the feet. Haven't seen that very often from him. He's been uh, very steady tonight. Has 22 points, leads all scorers in that department. Well, he had 12 shots in that first half, nine of 12. It's just two of and three actually, in the third quarter. So at least two of those three misses were right at the rim, too. TJ Crowns with a long one. Another country heard from. 19 point lead by the Red Wings. Whoa. You see that pass? Yeah, I want nothing that. behind it. McNeil's shot is no good. Huffman goes over Hemsing, but can't get it. Hemsing on a driver, no good. Look out, here goes Huffman. I got it. Nice drive by Sam Huffman. And you get a whistle. I'm not sure who called that timeout. It's a full timeout by West Bend East with 4.13 remaining in the ball game. South on top, 63-46. Logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. TunedInFamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Uh, this coming Saturday, where Sheboygan North will host a regional final game at North High School. And uh, we're not quite sure who they'll play. You'll have to check the paper tomorrow morning. And uh, it looks like South will move on, probably like you mentioned earlier, uh, up to Oshkosh to play Oshkosh North. North. If North wins, that is. Um, the big test will be if North can hold serve and win at home. Potentially, you're going to face Oshkosh West or Fond du Lac in that sectional opener. Oshkosh West is the defending two-time state champion. So that would be uh, quite an event. And they're going to get Jake with a travel call. I'll tell you, for Wenslaff being a great big guy, <laughs> he was trying for an Academy Award too. He just went down like a ton of bricks. Four minutes remaining in the ball game. South up, 63-46. Some may wonder why you're still pressing. This is a tournament. You press and you play hard basically till the end. No safe is just about on, done that way. Oh, Huffman had another nice pass inside. 
And Dexter McNeil is going to get called for the foul. That'll be his fourth. 17 point lead. Well, maybe when you get under two minutes or something like that, you can, the 17 point lead, you can think about it. But uh, we're going to keep pressing on until uh, we know this one's in the bank. One and one for uh, Jake Schwartz. You get a good shot of the Jakester. He has 21 points. Huffman with 24 from West Bend. When you open the paper and see the score, will you even think about or know about that first half? Holy cow. Look at the score difference now compared to uh, what it was at half. That was the first free throw miss by South here in the second half. Rolling down to uh, 3.30 left in the ball game. South up 64. 46, they did have a 19 point lead at one point. Long three pointer by Kemp is good. Well, one out of 10 shooting tonight. Or Eight. you could say you're one for one. <laughs> wow, big bump by Kemp. They're roughing up Beaterwolf. Pretty good in there. Three minutes remaining. I think the speed of South's gonna be too much for East right here. Well, they're pulling the ball out, running clock, and Huffman commits the foul on Renzelman. 21 on 21. I'll tell you what, that Sam Huffman, oh, he's only uh, 12 of 16 from the floor tonight, and his Jeez. team's gonna lose. Yeah, well, he's had a nice season. Huffman is a senior. South continuing the trend of free throw makes here in the second half. Eleven for twelve in the second half, Chris. And we get a timeout by South, I believe that was. It's a full timeout. With 246 remaining, South on top, 66-49. kids from drugs and alcohol. Combine ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. Mm. So, have dinner together every day. Delicious. A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University. Up on Thursday night here at South High, the South High girls host Pulaski with a win. They win the conference outright. First one, and that'd be huge, Chris. So what they're doing is encouraging all the fans here to uh, come to the game, and uh, we're doing the same. Yeah, that's uh, very exciting for Tim Crowns and the ladies. And uh, that would be five championships in a row for the Sheboygan schools. There you see Dave Tetschlag in the middle, Steve Weinland on the left. Carl Nunoff. And uh, Rico Biederwolf <laughs> in the red cap watching his son. Rough him up, kid. Kick out to McNeil, and he shuffled the feet. It's right. the little things. Well, I did some little statistics here, Marty. West Bandis. What have you been doing the rest of the night? Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at Sam Huffman. He's 12 of 16. The rest of the team is 10 for 31. Oops. So uh, that's not very good. And uh, ball tipped away. Huffman on a nice maneuver. Rolling down to two minutes left in the ball game. South up 66-49. Wenslaff tried to dump it down to uh, McNeil, but uh, Jake Schwartz with the good hands. 16 turnover on West Bend. Under two minutes now. 145 and counting. Put this one in the books. 
Scott Wenslaff with the foul. Jake going to the line. He'll shoot a pair. Jake has 21 points. West Bend's going to clear the bench, Marty. I think we'll get a chance here to see uh, senior uh, Santiago Marina here. Wouldn't that be nice? Brendan Jacobson in the ball game. Nick Makowski in the ball game. Tyler Raymond in the ball game. And Nolan Schrank in the ball game. I wonder if that's any relation to John Schrank, teacher here at South High School. Shot no good, and then we get a whistle. Violation on West Bend. You have another. Yeah, get another attempt. Hey, they've only one, missed one free throw the whole second half. Let's keep it that way. He does. 68, 49, largest lead. So far now, I think you ought to get those starters out of there. 139 remaining. No yep sense in getting those guys hurt. Full timeout. Carry. Let's take a break. 139 remaining. South up 19. We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs are making it happen. Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding around the world. Rotary. Humanity in motion. Scott Wood, 23, has been in. Santiago Marina is in the ball game. Jake Reuter in the ball game. And Brandon Bernabel also in the ball game. Both teams emptying the benches. Salt pulls off the press. And they'll play on. Wow. Wow, <laughs> who nailed that one? <laughs> that Brandon was Jacobson. From way downtown. Holy cow. You're throwing off my stats, kid, when you make shots like that. He's in the book. <laughs> and increases the field goal percentage, too. Get it to Santiago. Here, Chris, shoot. Get there. And the shot is off. No good. I'll tell you, the fans want him to get a basket. The Sheboygan Press needs his name in the, in the, in yeah, the really. Of there, too. We're not going to go there, Marty. <laughs> Shot He's got a rebound. Oh, oh give taken a, away. Give him a call. Ball tapped away. East comes up with it, and up and in is Tyler Raymond. And they got a run going, Chris. <laughs> Bernabo tripped, no call. Ooh, almost clocked that kid right in the chin when he moved the ball from one side to the other. Wood did. Chris is going to go downstairs. Ball is tipped south, keeps it. Sixteen seconds remaining in the ball game. Five seconds. South is going to win this one. Marino. Good! A three-pointer at the buzzer by Santiago makes it 70 to 54. Oh man. Seventy-one to fifty-four, not seventy. Seventy-one to fifty-four. Santiago Marina with a long three-pointer at the buzzer. And South will play on. They'll play Saturday night. We don't know where yet, but uh, we're going to step out and we come back. Hopefully, Chris will have a couple interviews for us.
United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Mommy, there still be penguins around when I grow up. I sure hope so. Do more than hope. Since the 1970s, global warming has caused ice in the Antarctic to melt and populations of Adelie penguins have been rapidly declining ever since. There's still time to make a difference before the Adelie penguin vanishes along with its habitat. Go to defenders.org slash global warming to learn more. Why is it you two have so much trouble communicating? I don't like the way he talks to me. All I said was that you had a big osteo fight. Well, what about the secrets you kept from me? Oh, so I didn't tell you about my drug allergies. Big that deal. That could have been nasty. How's your shoulder coming, anyway? Fine. I worked up to three-pound dumbbells yesterday. Oh. Just three weeks after surgery. That's pretty good. Communication is the best medicine. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Global warming. Some say irreversible consequences are 30 years away. 30 years? That won't affect me. Hey, big win for you guys tonight, uh, TJ. I don't know what was said at halftime. Maybe you could share a little bit, but if I don't know if it's the coaches or the players or what, but you guys came out in that third quarter and came out in fire. It was both the coaches and players. The coaches came in yelling at each other, and then we yelled at each other, and then the coaches yelled at us, and we just got together third quarter and fourth quarter and played well. I mean, second half, if we play like that every game, we can beat anybody. <laughs> hey, I've been saying that all year, that there's no question that you guys have the talent to beat anybody on any given day. You know, we saw it at the beginning of the year. We saw it throughout the year. But what we saw in that third quarter is just unbelievable. And, you know, one thing I was kind of disappointed was, you know, just the intensity. But, my gosh, when you guys were making some shots, all of a sudden the defense picked up too. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Whenever we, like, go on fire, we just start playing defense. And it should <laughs> it should be defense first, but it yeah. worked tonight. Yeah, your, your dad's giving you a bunch of comments over there like you're a great guy or something. I think that's what's going on there. Uh, but you're right. Uh, now it gets a little rougher. you got to go out pro possibly, probably playing Oshkosh. They played 0-20 or whatever, Beaver Dam tonight. Things will get rougher in here. But, you know, I think it, you know, a team like yours, the better the competition seems you guys, you know, go to that level too. Yeah, exactly. We played, um, the, well, we scrimmaged them this uh before the season and we played pretty well against um, our starters and then they have a 1-3-1 one, one zone and that'll be tough but we can do it. Yeah well congratulations TJ you have a wonderful career hopefully we'll see you in sectionals. Jake I don't know that third quarter I, I said you're gonna take it on your shoulders I think you were six of ten from the floor you had like four offense rebounds I mean you're all over the place and I said it myself you didn't want your season to end tonight. Yeah I didn't especially how hard me and TJ and all everybody worked especially I mean we didn't want to especially lose at home, so. Well, I know that must have been tough for you, too. I thought that was a pretty bad call, that first foul you got, and then you got to get that quick one, and then you got to sit there on the bench and just kind of watch it all fall apart. But, you know, you guys are deep, and I think that's something that, you know, through the long haul of the season and maybe in the tournament, that should help you. You get a lot of guys that can contribute. Yeah, it is. I mean, we got a lot of guys that can come in off the bench and play and can contribute and score and rebound, but, I mean, it kind of hurt when we hurt Kyle, when we lost Kyle, but. Everybody stepped up their game. I kind of made a comment. I said that if somebody would uh, read the paper and say, oh, they just won by 16. But West Bend came in here to play and gave you a little run. But, uh, boy, it's sure nice to see the way you guys played that second half. Yeah, it is, especially how bad we played in the first <laughs> half. I mean, we didn't really do anything, I mean, anything right. I don't know, that 21 guy probably had 20 points. So nobody could. And he was just posting up, so nobody could really stop that. Hey, I also liked it, too. You got yourself down the floor, too. I don't know if the coaches said that, but, my gosh, you kept beating your, your you know, opponent down the floor. I mean, you know, that's just sure determination. And, I don't know, that's a lot of easy baskets for you and Derek, too. Yeah, we do a lot of that in practice. We run, 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 try to get the ball up the court and beat everybody up there. 
Well, as I mentioned, the TJ most likely got Oshkosh North next there. They got some big boys there, but you faced a bunch of them this year. And, you know, like I was telling TJ, I think the way you guys play against, you know, better competition, uh, anything can happen. Yeah, if we shoot the ball well, we can probably beat anybody. But it all depends on that and how good we play on defense. Well, congratulations to you, and let's hope this run continues. We hope to see these guys in sectionals. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. It's a big second half for South. They outscored West Bend 41 to 20. A big third quarter really did it. They outscored them 26 to 20 in that quarter. Uh, leading all scorers in the ball game was West Bend East Sam Huffman. He had 24 points. For South, they had a three-headed monster tonight in the scoring column. Jake Schwartz had 23. Derek Kikafer had a real nice game at 15. And Chris Hempsing chipped in with 12. Again, South the winner, 71 to 54. Uh, before we go any further, I want to thank South High School for uh, South High's Booster Club for donating the funds so we can broadcast during the tournament season. Uh, we'll be doing girls and boys games uh, this year. Our next game will be at Sheboygan North when they host uh, the winner of uh, probably be a, a West Oshkosh school. And uh, that'll be at 7 o'clock on Saturday night. We'll be there broadcasting that game. A big game coming up here at South High School on Thursday when the girls host Pulaski, a win sends them into first place in the conference, a conference championship, and uh, nothing could be finer than that, and then have that when they head into the tournaments in the following week. For the crew, Eric behind that camera, Scott downstairs running the floor camera, Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials here in the second half. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you down the road.